Good morning, it's Kristen LeVay from St. John's with Pico uh, the Poodle. Pico's sporting a new summer haircut. He's a little bit less shaggy, but he's still pretty fluffy. And uh, everybody likes to get a haircut for summer, a little change. Uh, today I wanted to just talk briefly about looking for God and where we, where we look for God. Uh, do you look for God in nature? Maybe in the sky or the clouds. Maybe you see God in an animal like Pico. Um, I think it's good for us to start to look for God in other people. People that we work with, people we see on the street, people we see in our neighborhoods. Um, we all bear a resemblance to God made in his image. and. Uh, Looking for God in our everyday lives is a good place to connect with the Holy Spirit. It's a good way for us to consider uh, all of God's children. I like to think that dogs have a little bit of those traits that God finds <laughs> important and special, like excitement when we see somebody we haven't seen in a while. Well, dogs are excited to see you, even if it's only been a little bit, maybe five minutes. Um, being patient, right? You're waiting for another biscuit. A little bit of uh, forgiveness. Dogs are great at forgiving. They might chew something up and then we scold them, but they have a pretty forgiving heart and they'll wag their tail and love you pretty quickly. So today, uh, look for God and look for ways that um, you might take on a few traits of our furry friend here. Forgiveness, happiness, um, and a little bit of extra tail wagging love. That goes a long way. We can use that in our world. We'll see you again soon. Have a blessed Tuesday, everyone.